This is part 11 of renovating a 50-year-old RV in 50 days. With our front gauges still busted, we had to figure something out before we could hit the road. And after taking a look at the wiring diagram, we had our friend Matt help us troubleshoot. After ruling out our fuses, he checked the engine bay and discovered a loose clip to the heat gauge. With that snug, we could now monitor our engine temperature, but we'll still need to see how fast we're going. So after scrounging around, Matt found the old speedo cable. However, with the original cruise control busted, we decided to bypass it and go directly into the transmission. Now we can finally check on our broken gas gauge, but since it always reads full, we decided to leave it since we'd never run out of gas. Also relating to our fuel was the carburetor, which was not vacuuming properly and would need a full rebuild. Unfortunately, there are only a few people left that truly know these contraptions, but with luck on our side, we found a local legend. Sparky gets sent these old carburetors from all over the world, and he decided to cut us in on his five-month wait list. As soon as he started tinkering, we knew we had the right man for the job. 